Juan Luna de San Pedro in Novicio Ancheta is a very famous artist in the Philippines and most of his artwork was used in oil in canvas. He thought about artworks that gave too much footstep in the mind of the people who saw it. his artworks are Spolarium, who wins the first gold medal in 1884, the death of Cleopatra in 1881, El Pacto de Sangre on the Blood Compact or the Blood Compact in 1884, La Batalla de Lepanto in 1887, The Parisian Life in 1892, The River in 1885, España y Filipinas in 1886, Después del Valle and the one which we choose is the Blood Compact. And there's, and there's a lot more artworks that he painted. Juan Luna was born on October 23, 1857 and died on December 7, 1899. He was a Filipino painter, sculptor, and political activist of the Philippine Revolution during the late 19th century. He became one of the first recognized Philippine artists in the Philippines. Juan Luna won the gold medal in the 1884 Madrid Exposition of Fine Arts along with the silver win of Filipino painter Felix Resurrection Hidalgo, prompted a celebration which was major highlight in the memoirs of members of the propaganda movement with the fellow illustrados toasting to the two painters' good health and to the brotherhood between Spain and the Philippines. Regarded for work done in the manner of European academies of his time, Luna painted literary and historical scenes. Some with an underscore of political commentary, his allegorical works were inspired with classical balance and often, and often showed figures in theatrical poses. The Blood Compact is look like a group of people who made a ritual and it's called by Sandoguan. It show even there are different kinds of races, religion, and culture. There are always a possibility that they can be part of companion. The blood of compact is a tradition means of securing a pact of peace and friendship was carried out as follows. Both chief of opposing parties have bleed each other in the arm with a knife. There is no attraction in the art of one Luna which, which is blood compact. The dominant element in the artwork which blood compact is a line of shape and texture that makes the art look realistic because the elements of the place moreover aspect that emphasize is the texture and color. The Blood Compact shows different kinds of elements and also different kinds of principle. The art elements that shown were line, texture, and color. In regards to the lines, it composed of vertical and horizontal lines to make a cube-sized table and also to form the physical posture of the persons involved in the painting such as their face, body, background, and their attire. Simulated texture focuses on visual actions wherein viewers tend to think that the paintings are based on true-to-life events since the paintings are composed of characters or landscape, hence it cannot be touched but rather only be seen. Furthermore, regarding to texture, it is considered as simulated texture because it is much more realistic in terms of visualization and the context itself since there are real-life characters in the painting and, and the object to give life of the painting. In addition, the state of the art paint is formulated with warm colors and a mixture of primary and secondary colors. Example for this one are the skin colors of the Spanish troops and their attire. It is a blend of white and peach pastel colors to form the original medium dark skin of the Spanish persons. On the, on the other hand, based on the background, it focuses on the brown and black combination for the characters to be noticed easily. It has also the value that describes the brightness of the color. Artists use value to create different moods and the example of it, it is the dark color. It is composition suggests a lack of light. Dark also convey a sense of mystery and for body. Regarding to the principle of art, our movement and emphasis, the movement show in the blood compact. It's a person who reaches the other person in front of him, it's, if we use our imagination, you can see the 
surrealistic and moving present while emphasis is also present since it's convinced that the blood compact is realistic kind of artwork is like abstract but it's also detailed that why looks like a real art when it when we use our visualization with regards an opinion and conclusion based on the artwork which is the blood compact in our opinion itself it is considered as a historical painting which is the fact that the painting was based on the historical events we have known that in our past it is so broad and deep wherein there's a lot of events happen in the history and we are the one who will make a way to reopen and also to study the important events that happened in the past in regards to the blood compact it is so dark and for me they should put something light in order to see the exact meaning of the painting moreover once the artwork is very dark it is hard for the viewer to identify what is the real meaning of the specific artwork and the first thing that will sink into their mind is negative since the artwork is so dim in such cases there are parts of the painting is hard, is hard to analyze in addition it depends on the artist on how he or she creates the artwork and what emotion would he give on his or her viewer furthermore the painting is very elegant since the body of human figure was efficiently distinguished such as their skin face and posture also there are the objects was completely detailed especially the blanket above the table and regarding to their clothes of armor was accurate in terms on how Spaniard soldiers wear them. We conclude that the blood compact should rather be as a political expression of the artist which is Juan Luna. And he thinks that the blood compact is a political movement or propaganda that will create a legal equality between the Spaniards and the Filipino people rather than being independent on his own.